the difference between working with professional models and non-pros, I'd rather work with non-pros any day. Professionals come to it with sort of a certain idea and and they tend to sort of have a limited number of like, you know, set piece poses. Whereas a non-professional who's sort of committed to the project uh, is kind of much more open to a collaborative experience is much more appreciative of sort of the opportunity to open up that it gives you because there's a lot of angst going into it there is a lot of sort of self examination and self doubt uh, am I pretty enough am I too fat uh, you know I don't like this about me I don't like that and and then they get on set and they find out that they're gorgeous. They find out that they are uh, really special. And you sort of see that happen. I love watching that happen. I love watching it. That's what keeps me doing it. That was not the first time I'd had professional photographs done, but this was totally different because I was exposing my scar, which I'm very proud of. And um, the photographer, Mark, made me feel very relaxed. Um, he kept emphasizing the fact that, you know, we are here to showcase, if you will, uh, your war wound and how important it is to be proud of what you have come through and what you've survived. It was an exhilarating experience. While I was in the recovery room at the hospital, the recovery nurse actually took a colander off the wall and showed it to me. And I read it. I was really intrigued by it. Saw that they had a website, went home, got on the website, and here I am two years later in the colander. One of my captains brought a uh, news article that he had in the Vacaville paper, brought it down to me, and uh, actually sent it to me through interoffice mail with a little post it saying, you should, you should go for this. So uh, two years later, it took me a little while, but two years later, I finally uh, got up the nerve to uh, apply, and here I am. Or I was just looking for information like on colon cancer survivors, and uh, I came across the colon club, so I was like, oh, this is really cool. I've never seen this before, and it wasn't out when I was diagnosed, and so I was like, oh, this must be newer. Um, and so I started looking through it and I saw their colander and I was like, no way, like, this is totally something I should do. My husband was sort of like egging me on because I had bought a calendar. I bought the 2008 calendar and when it came out and um, actually I think I bought more than one because I gave one to my oncologist. But he was like, you really ought to do this. You really ought to do this. And he's like, you need to feel good about yourself. And he's like, you need to understand you're still beautiful. You're still strong. You're still. So he was really egging me on. So I emailed, but it was kind of half hearted. and. And I got this wonderful email back. Oh, we were so hoping you were going to do it. We, you would be great. And, you know, we can't make any promises, but we really want you to, to apply. We really want you to be, you know, to be part of the people that we look at.